Hey guys, and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, as you'll see, I do have a Texas apron, but I have an Oklahoma shirt. So, just a note, this is the only apron that I own. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is a cooking video. I do cook quite a bit when I'm home. And so that's not very often, but it's improving. I want to tell you a little bit about how to make the perfect bacon. Now, this bacon and the method of making it, cooking it, is actually from Josh, which I find hilarious. Josh is my husband, for those of you that don't know. I knew not a whole lot about baking, cook, baking, cooking, bacon, <laughs> but I, I do now because he taught me uh, to be a little bit more patient while I'm cooking it so it doesn't sizzle up and uh, you know it lays flat, cooks evenly, and so I'll get started. I like Wright's bacon. I think this is the hickory bacon. We are not sponsored in this video. I like to do it the easy way, which is you get the knife, you put it in the bag, and you cut it in half. Now I'm cooking for Allie and I, so we gotta have quite a bit. And I probably should do something different with that, but we're not going to. We are going to grab it with our bare hands. And so cut it in half, obviously. And we just lay it like so. The skillet is on high low, which means low. This is an electric stove. Uh, I did get this stove from Modern Appliance. They're an excellent local company. All my appliances came from Modern Appliance. Now you just kind of set them in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be an artist here. We just kind of do it. I say the cowboy way because this is how Josh would do it. Everything looks good. I think that's enough bacon for you and I. Allie, what do you think? I think it's great. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Don't touch anything with nasty bacon rawness. Step number, I don't know. We put the lid on, very important. Helps with the evenness of the heat. I use Teflon, I guess. And let her simmer. When the bacon's being cooked thoroughly on one side, you flip it over, but be careful because when you open this lid, there's a lot that can happen, especially some grease. I, you can turn it down, but we don't around here. We just clean up the mess. Whoa, holy mackerel. See how it's cooked all the way through on that one side? Now we like our bacon crispy around here. You may not. And if you don't, I'm sorry. You can take it off a little earlier if you want. Again, you gotta be kinda careful. Yeah, Allie. That's <laughs> why so we got the lid, it's like our little shield. One of them I already turned over, it's kinda small. Put the lid back on. And we'll wait it out. As you can see, the bacon is ready. Again, we like it crispy and hot and fresh out of the skillet. Now we gotta cook the eggs, but it'll be very quickly. I'm not gonna show you that part, we'll just show you the after. Thanks for tuning in. We are ready to eat. I got bacon, crispy bacon, cooked evenly, oranges and two eggs with some Cholula. I hope you have a fantastic day and next time I'll cook something that takes more effort but this time is a true look into my life. Josh, you missed out, and we'll see you guys soon.